Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a what sold Poshmark Bolo video for you guys. Don't turn it off. I know that you guys think Poshmark is all clothing. This is a no clothing Bolo video. Items I sold on Poshmark faster. Um, I cross post my items. I start with eBay and then I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. Sometimes I do Grailed, sometimes I do Etsy, but I would say that my three main platforms are eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, but I always start with eBay. If you want to see how I cross post, um, I have a video on that and it's um, just search list perfectly. And actually, you know what? I linked it down in the description of the video. You can check down there, but I show you how I use this extension list perfectly to cross post my items to other platforms. Super fast, super easy, super awesome. I've been using it for over a year. If you want to try it, my referral code is Bolo Buddies. One word, that'll get you 30% off your first month. It is awesome. I'm, I'm just telling you, just try it. It's awesome. And if you hate it, you can quit, you know, but uh, it's amazing. Okay, uh, let's get started with these Poshmark non-clothing items. All right. And I know that most of my viewers either don't sell clothes or they sell clothes and they want to learn about like hard goods and vintage items. So that is why I am sharing this Poshmark video with no clothing. I did that the last time with my Poshmark video and it seemed to um, get more traction. So I know that's what you guys are looking for. Please feel free to put your feedback down in the comments. It's always appreciated. Okay, let me get the first item pulled up here. All right. So I just actually sold this tonight and I still need to ship it. But this is part of that huge Bart Simpson lot that I got. And I sold this for $15 and on Poshmark, the buyer pays the shipping. So um, I probably had 25 cents in this. And it was weird because I had it listed at 16 and they offered me 15. And I'm like, that's a fantastic offer. I'll take that for sure. And I have a whole bunch. So I'm going to move quickly. The next item I sold is. Um, it's a little, they're pewter figures, they're Hallmark, they're litter, little gallery miniatures. Uh, let me see if I can get you. Here's a picture of the bottom. And uh, 1977. And I probably should have put vintage in the title. I typically do that. But I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents. So super adorable. And I sold them for $16 and buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Loren Ralph Loren beaded bracelet. This came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, but I sold it on Poshmark. Uh, and uh, this is from that 344 pound bulk buy, you guys. And I sold this for $35, the buyer paid shipping. And if you go over to my Instagram, I have a little quick video that shows you how to get this fantastic white background. Um, by using the eBay filter. I think I shared it in my most recent live show that where I talked about lists perfectly. So you could see it there also. But Instagram, uh, my Instagram is bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers. And I show you like in a 10 second video how to do this if you don't already know. But this is what it looked like before this kind of not real crisp white. And here's another one. So I turned into this, which I think looks really fantastic. And it's super easy to do. So definitely check out that on my Instagram. And there's also, I think I linked it down below in the description. So you can check there also. The next item I sold are these vintage hand crocheted starch Christmas ornaments. I picked these up at a garage sale. I got a whole bag full. I divided it out into separate lots. This lot sold for $28 and there was 10 in there and the buyer paid shipping. And I think I paid $3 for the whole bag full. The next item I sold are these Disney Pixar cars, non rolling cake toppers. I guessing a garage sale or a mystery box or a thrift store or something. I pick up so many toys because I love selling toys but they have a tendency to sit and wait for me to get in the mood to list toys where I have to separate them. So I sold these for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item I sold came out of a mystery box. This is a Longenberger pottery toothpick and sweetener holder. And I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these VTech GoGo -Go smart wheels. Um, they're vehicles. You push a button and they like play music and light up. Um, another thing that I pick up at garage sales and I kind of hold on to them until I have enough to sell as a lot. Uh, I sold these for $45 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, and I know I said no clothing, but I'm kind of counting this as a costume. Um, but I picked these up at Gabriel Brothers last year after Christmas for $3 each. And I think I've already sold three of them. Um, and two of them I sold on Poshmark. And I think I may have sold one on eBay. But uh, this one sold for $32 and the buyer paid shipping. So definitely um, if you have a gate, I think it used to be Gabriel Brothers. Now it's Gabe's. You can definitely find some good stuff on the, in the clearance racks. The next item I sold is this Dream Tents Glow Tent. And I picked this up at a garage sale for a buck. And when I was pulling this up, I noticed that it said shipped and it's not been delivered yet. But nobody has reached out to me. So I'm wondering if they got it and maybe the shipping didn't update. So I need to uh, look into that because I haven't got paid for this yet. But it sold for $25. It's one of those as seen on TV items. And I have a Bolo category video on as seen on TV if you guys want to check that out. It basically shows you items to be on the lookout for that are as seen on TV. All right. The next item I sold is... Okay, so these are glimmies and they're super, super cute. They're the, the, about this big and they light up. They're adorable. Um, I picked these up at the Toys R Us going out of business sale and a bunch of them have just been like sitting for me to list because, you know, when Toys R Us went out of business, everybody was selling the stuff. So I held on to some stuff and I just listed these and they sold super quick. And I sold this for $28 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Avon. Um, they're like little soaps that are shaped like pears. And this came in a bulk lot of soaps and um, candles. So I was kind of on the fence about whether or not I was going to list it because I knew it was going to be a bread and butter item. But I was like, I'm just going to list it. And you know what, you guys, it sold super quick. Is it a big money bolo? No, but it's good bread and butter. It sold for 10 bucks. So um, after uh, Poshmark took their fees, I got $7.05 in my pocket and it took no time at all to list. And um, yeah, the next item I sold is this Capizio Girls Leotard. This came from a um, YouTube auction. I bought it from Auctions for You. It's Auctions, the number four, capital U. There's a link down in the description of the video. If you guys are looking for inventory, she does auctions and sometimes they do buy it nows, um, but you buy through YouTube. It's really, really a, a neat, neat thing. And I purchase from time to time there. And I bought a bulk of Halloween items and this, there were a bunch of these leotards in there, which I knew would sell. So I sold this for $14 and um, the buyer paid shipping. And I have an unboxing video of it. I can't remember if I paid $25 free shipping or $35 free shipping. I think it was $35 free shipping. But if you guys want to see everything I got from that, you can um, go check out that video. It's in my uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you type in auctions for you, you'll see it. And again, links for um, Donatella Bodolino's channel and auctions for you are down below. Those are the two channels that I probably watch the most. I do attend some other auction channels that I enjoy watching. Um, but those are the two that I spend the most time at. I've become really good friends with them. And I, I just enjoy the people in the chat. And a lot of you guys watch me. So hey, everyone. And um, we're going to go on to the next item. The next item I sold is this creepy spider pendant taxidermy necklace. And I really thought this was going to just like fly out of my store. And it was actually kind of long tail. Um, but it's kind of cool. I'm not sure what the material is made of, but it kind of encases the spider and it's kind of creepy, but it sold for $15. I was hoping to get a little more. I picked this up at a garage sale and I, I meant to put it is on a cheap Avon necklace chain. I put in, whoopsie. Okay. 
The next item I sold are more of the VTech GoGo -Go Smart Wheels, and I sold these for $19, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay jewelry buy. I sold this for $15, and the buyer paid shipping. And here's another item from that bulk buy. And again, you guys, if you want to see when I weighed it and when I picked it up, I had no idea that it was going to be 344 pounds. Super exciting. And I'm not even going to tell you like how much I still have to list. I, I've lotted a lot of it up on Mercari and I've sold a lot of it in bulk. Um, and I, I still have a bunch. I don't know what I'm going to do with. I, I'm, I'm listing stuff here and there, but... I kind of go through phases as when, when I'm in the mood to list jewelry and different things like that. So this hat I got from a garage sale and there were tons, tons, tons of these um, USS hats and they were 50 cents each. So I just bought them all and they're doing okay. I think I have them priced a little bit too high on eBay. Um, I need to lower the prices, but this one sold for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage skinny ties. And I told this story in another um, one of my videos. I bought a bag of ties at, at a garage sale for $3. And some of them were vintage new old stock with tags. And I listed those separately. And then these I just lotted up and sold for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Minnie Mouse costume. I sold this for $22. The buyer paid shipping. I got this at a garage sale. Um, I was buying a bunch of stuff and they just threw this in free. So the next item I sold is um, actually are these Leapster learning games. And I picked a huge tote of Leapfrog Leapster stuff up at a garage sale. And I didn't list any of this until quarantine. And I will tell you that was a great time to list this stuff. Um, these took a little longer to sell, but I ended up selling all of these for $65. So there's what, 5, 10, 14, 17 games for $65. Poshmark took 13. So I, I got $52 for this after everything was um, accounted for. And I probably had a couple bucks in it. So definitely a, a, a great buy. I, you know, when I buy in bulk, I get better deals. The next item, I know it has a clothing item, but I'm just giving you another example of a bundle on Poshmark. So if you guys are selling on eBay, one advantage of Poshmark is that they can bundle and then they only pay one shipping fee of $7.11. So I sold this bangle bracelet and these earrings and then this jacket for $40. Posh took eight, so my profit was 32. The next item I sold are these boots. I picked these up at a garage sale for $5 and I sold them for $21 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I believe these came from Donatella Bodolino's auction. I bought a $25 um, box. Nobody bid against me and it had fantastic stuff in it. Um, I have a video, an unboxing video, but it's an older video. Um, but she had thrown in a bag, just a small bag of miscellaneous jewelry. And I went ahead and I just listed it. And these, this was a long tail item, but I sold these for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. So I got $7 and five cents and I paid $25 for the whole box. You guys go watch the video and see how much I got for $25. It was crazy. The next item, oops, I, uh put that at the beginning because I wanted to show you guys how I did that filter. Okay. Uh, this vintage black bear plush hat. Do you guys remember that I got it all free garage sale? This was one of those items. If you want to see all the items I got at that garage sale for free. Oh my gosh. It was amazing. I'm guessing I'm going to make between 700 and a thousand dollars when it's all said and done. Unbelievable. The, the stuff they gave me free. And again, I have a whole video showing you guys exactly what I got. Um, I sold this for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I picked these up at a garage sale for a dollar. They're vintage wood Santa bells and it's a lot of three. I sold these for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I wasn't sure if this was going to sell because it says, um, I can't remember what it says. I think it, what does it say? 
Nags Head, North Carolina. Nags? I don't know. But anyway, it said North Carolina. So I was like, eh, you know, maybe it'll do okay. Maybe it won't. But um, it's poseable and it is cute. But uh, I picked it up. I don't even know. Probably a garage sale. And it sold for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, this was a long tail item. I thought these were going to be like a really fast moving item. Uh, they said uh, handmade and it's a chicken and a cow. Or is that a chicken or a hen? Is it a hen or a chicken? Is, what's the difference? Is one a boy or a girl? I don't know what it is. It's some kind of farm animal. <laughs> but anyway, I thought they were going to do really good. I paid $5, I think, for the set. And they did sell, but it just took a while. $35 buyer paid shipping. The next item is this uh, estate find Christmas tree brooch. And I picked this up at an estate sale, as it says. And um, I think it's vintage. I'm not 100% sure, but it sold for $15 in the buyer paid shipping. And it was a long tail item. The next item was in one of my thrift hauls and I did not buy it. And everybody's like, you should have bought it. So I went back and it was still there and I bought it. It's a Winnie the Pooh bear plush yellow honey blanket. And it's super cute. It's a little lovey. And I probably should have. Oh, yeah, I did. Lovey security blanket. And I sold this for $14 in the buyer paid shipping. And I believe this was either a dollar or $2. I can't remember. The next item I sold is this DC Comics Aquaman loose figure from 2015. I sold this guy for $12 in the buyer paid shipping. My husband gave me this one to sell. He doesn't really like messing with women's um, watch stuff. He does sell um, from time to time men's stuff because he likes he likes watches. Um, so yeah, he gave it to me to sell and I sold it for 40 bucks. I'm like, thanks husband. Um, he actually gave me, I think I had three that were identical of this Lucien Picard and it's just the movement. And this is what it looks like on the back. And these were new old stock. And I think I have one left. I don't think it sold, but I sold this for $40 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage screen stars tea. Um, it's like a racing type tea. And I got this at a garage sale for $1. And I sold it for $35 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage ceramic deer. I like selling deer. I don't know. I pick them up. They do really well for me. I, it's just one of those things. Like certain things, like I just see them and I buy them. And this sold for $27. It's ceramic deer with big big guys, big eyes. That's how I described it. And it sold for 27 buyer paid shipping. And I think it was a dollar at a, a garage sale. The next item I sold, see another deer. This is a reindeer, but, um, this is one of the plastic vintage reindeers. And I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh, they also sometimes are rubber plastic, um, blow mold, you know, I, I pick them all up. The next item I sold is the 17 inch fiber optic snowman from 2001. I sold this for $80 in the buyer paid shipping. And I believe this was in a mystery box. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. The next item I sold is this Kurt Adler gingerbread man house ornament. This was definitely in a mystery box. And I sold this for $22 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage raccoon tail hat. Um, this came from a garage sale and I want to say it was a dollar and I sold it for 17 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item was very long tail. I'm actually surprised it sold for this much because it was one of those things where I started kind of high and I, I'm not real good about dropping my prices, but I will accept offers if people make me offers, but it's really cute. It's a little pendant um, and it is vintage but not very big and you wear it on a necklace and then you can like check yourself out. If you're like out to eat, check your teeth. I don't know. Anyway, it sold for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. It wasn't signed and I didn't test it. I mean, I don't think it was gold or anything, but it was, it was untested. Maybe they got a really good deal. Maybe it was gold. I don't think so. The next item I picked up at a garage sale for $5 um, I really like wearing wedge shoes and I thought about keeping them. They're my size, but I was like, 
I think I want the money more because they'll probably just sit in my closet. So I sold these for $55 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these American Girl doll clothing items. Um, I, I bought a huge lot of American Girl stuff. I did sell some of the items separately. Could I have made more piecing this out? Probably so, but um, I sold this for $60 and I was good with that. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these wood play number cars. They're just like cars, wood cars. Um, yeah, I sold them for $25 in the buyer paid shipping. Again, I just picked these up at garage sales, thrift stores. And then once I get so many, I lot them up. The next item I sold is this Rudolph minifigures toy set. I sold these for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. This American Girl matching kit nightgown. So basically this is like um, a girl's large. So I don't know if that'd be like a 14 year old, a 13 year old, 15, I don't know, an older girl. Um, and then they have a matching outfit that fits the doll. I didn't have the matching outfit, but um, yeah, this is just the, uh, the girls. I almost said adult. I mean, it, it could fit an adult, like a small adult, like somebody maybe that wears an extra small. But anyway, this sold for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale. It was super cheap, maybe a buck or two. And it looked, I mean, it was in excellent condition. The next item I sold is this Fenton Art Glass Hand Painted. And I forgot to use the word frog. How do you forget to use the word frog? in your title, in your description. Like I was wondering why it was taking so long to sell because it's kind of a unique piece. That's probably why. But on Poshmark, you're, you share and then your items get seen. So somebody probably saw it and liked it. Um, I sold it for $38. The buyer paid shipping and I picked this up at a garage sale with a bunch of frogs for 25 cents. The next item I sold are more reindeer. I sold this little elf and this other elf. And I took a best offer of $60 for all three items. Um, I did come down quite a bit, but they were buying three items. So I went ahead and took the deal. Um, I think these came from a garage sale, probably a buck or two, or maybe it was a thrift store. Again, you guys, I buy so much stuff in bulk that sometimes it's hard for me to pinpoint what I paid for it, but I'm, I'm pretty cheap. So I can give you really good ideas. So I would probably say I had $3 or less in all of these items. Sold them for 60, Posh took 12, my earnings was $48. And again, these items sold faster on Poshmark than eBay. And I think I had a few of these items on Etsy. The next item I sold is this Imaginarium Pirates. Uh, it's a wooden, part of a wooden train. It hooks up to the wooden train uh, sets. This is another thing that my sister gave me free. I sold this for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, I know this is a clothing item, but the reason I included this one is because this came from the I Got It Free garage sale, and it had like paintball gun like stuff on it, and like you can see right here, it was stained. It was not in great shape, you guys, and I still sold it for $50, and it's not like your typical clothing, I'm going to wear it every day type deal, so if you could find one of these in pristine condition at a garage sale, you could probably sell it for a lot more. Sold it for 50 bucks buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these vintage watch parts and movements. Again, another thing my husband didn't want to mess with, handed it over to me and I was like, thank you. And I sold it for $35 in the buyer paid shipping. Moana, I think is how you say it. It's a Disney movie. These um, are figures. It says cake toppers, but man, these, these, some of these things are heavy. I mean, I could see them like sinking into the cake but I sold these for $20. Um, I know I've picked these up at thrift stores before and garage sales. I've had, I had two or three lots available, so I can't remember which one, um, this came from, but I sold it for $20 buyer paid shipping. The next item are these animal jam lot of 12 houses and eight pets. They're little toy figures. I got this at a garage sale. I had no clue what they were. I, I think I did like the Google image search. And I found them and I sold these for $16 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is again, kind of a clothing item, but I bought it with a bunch of Halloween stuff and uh, like masks and stuff. And 
the funny thing is, is the items were not even for sale. I saw, saw it in the garage and I'm like, well, do you have any Halloween stuff? And I bought all of their vintage Halloween stuff. And this was one of the items. And I think somebody wore this as a costume. And I sold this for $35 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this kitty surprise. And she had three little kittens. And I picked her up at a thrift store for $3 and the buyer paid shipping. And I'm pretty sure I have a haul video on this one. The next item I sold is this Blaze and the Monster Machines pickle car. It's a die cast car, like a monster car. And I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. And I believe this came out of a mystery box. And the final item is this bundle. And I'm not sure which item brought this person to my store. Because honestly, three of these items were so old and so stale. And I was so happy to see them go. So the first item was this... Um, and I know some of these are closed, but th there's a story behind it. So uh, this shaper, I probably had for five to seven years. I kid you not. Same with this. <laughs> uh, the brawl I haven't had as long. But um, I think this one, um, I had it for $10. So I don't know if it fell off the rack or something. I'm sure there's details inside. But these three items, like I was so happy to get rid of this bracelet, I kind of just listed to draw people into my store. It's a $5 item. And then this Avon, um, I bought two Avon lipsticks because I wanted one of them, but they came together. And I was like, well, I'll just sell the other one and keep the color I want. So basically this paid for that. But anyway, I sold the whole bundle for $30. Posh took six. So I got 24 bucks. And I was so excited to see all five of these items go. Super happy. So again, I love that you can bundle on Poshmark and get that one time fee of $7.11. Super awesome. And yeah, those are my Poshmark Bolos um, non-clothing items for those of you guys. Um, and if you want to see clothes, I guess comment below, we want to see clothes you're selling because I still have tons of clothes that I sell. Um, I try not to list clothes anymore, but I have a closet full, full that I still need to list. I just took, um, I cleaned out one of my closets and I just took that and a bunch of my new with tag stuff. I'm going to say like 15 bags to the girl that does consignment for me. So um, I'm excited for her to get those things listed and I can start to see that um, another stream of income coming in. So I, I need like three of her. So if anybody is in Licking County and does consignment, message me <laughs> because I've got stuff, 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 stuff that needs listed and I don't have enough hours in the day to... Um, list all of my money piles. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you want to see what I'm selling on Mercari, I have videos on that. I have more Poshmark videos. I have eBay videos. I have Bolo category videos where I break down like different categories like Halloween, um, Christmas, new old stock, as seen on TV, um, puzzles, board games. I mean, tons, Oshkosh Bagosh, uh, toddler dresses, like just different category videos that help you guys learn what to look for, what to be on the lookout for, bolo items in each category. So you can check those out. I have featured seller videos. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, my bread and butter are items that sold for $35 or less. And I'm my tired eyes are coming on. Sorry, guys. It's uh, midnight. And this is my last video of the night. I'm I'm kind of one of those people that um, I do my videos in batch. So I think this is like video six or seven. So I get all my tabs pulled up. And then I just sit and I record. Um, and I'm, I'm ready for bed. So I've been working on it for quite a while because it takes a long time to pull up those tabs and go through my what solds and break it into bread and butter and big money and Poshmark. And I didn't get to my Mercari video tonight. So I got to work on that. But um, I'm rambling. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. share. Check out the description of the video for where you can find me on different social media and stuff like that. And my stores if you want to check those out. 
And thanks for watching. Have a good night.